Hi everyone and welcome to Young Spine, Young Body, episode number three. My name is Albert Vaca. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope all of you are doing really well. Today I want to talk to you about the uppermost portion of the spine, the cervical spine. The neck has a lot of different muscles which you know make you go like this, this, this. Today I want to talk about the scalene muscles. Now the scalene muscles is actually a group of three muscles that attaches to the neck and comes on down and attaches to the first two ribs. There's the one, two, three attachments to it. One, two, three attachments to it like that. And so what these muscles do is they help you flex the neck and they also help to pull your rib cage upwards. And while it does that, it actually helps aid in respiration. So it actually gives you a better breath. A lot of times these muscles can get shortened just by looking down at our phone too much, driving a car, working on the computer, and general stress because everything kind of tightens up here. So the more we can keep these loose and nimble, the better off we are. So here's the first stretch I want to show you. This is your scaling stretch. Just very gently above your ear, grab it and pull it onto the side. You don't want to pull too hard. When you're stretching, in any stretch for that matter, stretch to the point where you can have an ideal conversation with somebody. You're not pulling like this and straining your voice. You don't have to go that hard. So just bring it back to where you feel a nice stretch and hold that for about 30 seconds on that side. Then you roll your head downwards to a 45 degree angle. Now you're looking almost down towards your, uh, towards your toe there. When you're ready, at about 30 seconds, roll your head backwards along that line. Now you're going 45 degrees upward and back. So that kind of gets the more anterior muscle going on here, okay? Roll it back and do your other side. So 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and 30 seconds there, okay? Another thing you can do is also a door stretch. And a way you would do a door stretch is you basically grab your, your elbows, put it in a door frame, and lean forward. Because that helps out your stretching your chest muscles like that. So you want to help loosen those up, loosen this up, That'll help a lot of your neck pain, and if you have any kind of ridiculous symptoms, any nerve symptoms going on in your arm, that is uh, that can be very helpful for you too, okay? So let's do a little Qigong movement. This is called water and fire meat. So water in regard to the kidneys, okay? The kidneys are in charge of the spine. And then fire is in charge of the chest, okay? The heart area, okay? So we're going to help open up and, and manage those two, because yin and yang, right? The fire, the yang the water, the yin. So the water and the fire meet and, uh, and, me and help us get better. So here we go. Get yourself in a nice even stance. Legs slightly bent. Shoulder, feet shoulder width apart. Shoulders relaxed, neck relaxed, jaw relaxed. Even your ears and your eyelids, see if you can do that too. I'm gonna slowly come down. We're going to rub along the inside of our legs, inside of your knees, inside of your upper thighs, coming all the way up to where the fire meets. And we're rotating, we're gently rotating our shoulders backwards like this. And then we're gonna go forward. Now watch my how I have my feet. I kind of go upwards a little bit. I'm kind of rocking a little bit. And now we're gonna to go to the other side. Let the elbow lead. You're stretching out your rhomboids, your lats, your trapezius, your middle back. Let's go the other direction. Elbows are leading the way. Rotate that spine a little bit as you come along. When we finish up, we're going to inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale a little further out, inhale, exhale all the way out. That's water and fire meat. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. Have a wonderful week. Hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.